Okay, so just some testing here for this Mayono PM500 microphone. What it is, I do actually really like the mic in certain positions. It sounds great as far as I'm concerned, or it works with my voice in certain positions. The only thing is this is a side address microphone. So what I'm thinking about doing is pulling it apart and then taking the capsule and like, you know, the preamp out of it and stuff and then putting that or the power circuit, putting that into a body which will give me end address. So basically changing it from side address to end address. So what I'm doing here is just some testing. So I've got an idea of how it sounds like really close up and more more to the more to where the capsule would be positioned if it were on the end of an end address microphone. Now I've been using a foam filter here, so that's it now without the foam filter on. I should be popping that all over the place. Um yeah, that will be crazy with the popping, although I'm gonna try changing some positions slightly here with and without the foam on it. So the position where the capsule is right now, like to me, that's going to be somewhere in the region of where I would expect it to be at the end of like, you know, the tube as it were on an, on an end address. Now, that being the case, it probably would sit around there on the end of an end address, something like that. So that would be pointing like from that direction coming in with the capsule as close to the end of the tube as possible. Uh, depending upon what body I can use with it and stuff. So hopefully I can get it like really quite close to me as you would do with a normal end address. But those normal end addresses are typically going to be, you know, dynamics. And this is obviously a cardioid. Now, whilst it's like that, let me just put that foam on. I mean, I've obviously got other foam filters and stuff I could be putting on with this. But this is just going to give me an idea of a foam filter on the end of like, you know, the microphone as an end address. Give me an idea of what that's like. Um, I just need to keep an eye on the levels there. They actually, the levels were nowhere near peaking, so this will have been dragged up quite a bit. Now, if I get that there, that could be indicative of something coming up from underneath and, like, really close and stuff. Now, hold on. If I pull that off there, in fact, this might just be an idea for me to get, you know, might be... A Good idea for me to get an idea of what this sounds like, like this, in its current situation anyway, you know, inside its own body. That might be far enough away where it might not be getting too many plosives. PPP, plosive, plosive, PPP. Although it's probably picking up plosives. Let me just throw that foam on. So there, that might work, you know. In fact, you know... I don't what it is. Right? I, I definitely want it as end address. I don't want it as side address. But as side address, if that was sitting underneath me there like that, uh, positioned obviously on the end of you know the stand there. But if that was coming in under there like that, say in a position where it's not gonna obstruct me mouth and stuff like that, as far as the view from the camera is concerned. Now that's it pointing straight at me, and I'm going like literally across the mic there right across its side in fact might be able to see it better there so i'm going right across the side of the capsule there so the capsule's pointing like right towards my throat area that's it now about i'd say that's like 45 degrees it's well below my mouth line so maybe it, it avoids plosives and stuff ppp plosive plosive and there ppp plosive plosive Back at 45 degrees again, PPP, plosive, plosive. Now, forget that closer. So that's really close now, uh, for about 45 degrees, slightly underneath, obviously. No foam, PPP, plosive, plosive. It's worth me just testing these positions because even if the microphone were at the end of a tube on an end address, they could, you know, the, the capsule could come you know, into one of these positions here at the end of another tube. I mean, I'm going to be talking all kinds of mental stupidity right now because I'm trying to pad out what I'm doing so I've got something to listen back to. But more importantly, I need to be able to see what it is I'm doing. Now, just one last thing here. 
So that's me kind of like 45 degrees to the capsule, but really close. So I'm going right across the capsule, not straight into it. Obviously, there's foam on the go here as well. So this could be a really good idea for, or give me a good idea for the very close mic position here. Now, this could even work on camera if it were at the end of a, a narrower tube, as it were, and it didn't look so like bulky on the ends. Although this will give me an idea of what it's like right now for doing, say, some VO stuff as well. So this could work. I mean, this, this position definitely would work for off-camera VO, but this will give me an idea. So I'm basically going 45 degrees thereabouts right across the capsule there. So should not be plosive than directly into it. And then that's it without the foam filter. Yeah, about 45 degrees, somewhere like that. And I'm probably about three inches off the capsule there, something like that as well. So really close. And then lastly, just once again, testing it down there. I'm just realistically putting the capsule into different spaces just so I can get to hear uh, what the like, you know, what the sound of it's like within the room as well, and as to how much it might be knocking out or blocking out of the reflections in the room. Plus, the other thing as well with this particular microphone, it can get quite bassy when you get close to it. It actually can sound really pleasing as opposed to being swamped. So I'm just wondering if there's a position somewhere where you know it kind of like works really well um, and it's got a nice pleasant kind of bassier tone to it where it may not be like you know wanting to screw the sound up and I might just want to leave it as is and just you know leave it as the condition that the mic's in as in it's a it's a side address mic and just leave it at that and then just find the best position to put it in in front of me maybe not necessarily for on camera but possibly for off camera vo anyway that'll do it for that test because i'm getting really bored of my own voice i've been there sitting there doing tons of microphones and i think my voice is getting really hoarse now as well <laughs> <laughs>